Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to uh, learn about uh, the slave device connection interval data. This is also a part of the advertisement and uh, uh, we have to continue to study the advertisement in details and uh, today it's uh, th this part and uh, in this part we will see how we can include uh, the slave device connection interval uh, data in the advertisement packet uh, so that uh, the user uh, or the master device or the host device which is scanning our advertisement packets can receive uh, the connection interval values and then it can uh, see if uh, it's possible for that device to connect with our device or not. So sometimes we want to include the connection interval range in the advertisement packets so that uh, the host can know in advance uh, what range is best suited for the device uh, it is going to connect with. Connection interval data is composed of four bytes, so we have to transmit four bytes of data if we send the connection interval, if we set it in the advertisement packets. The two bytes are for the minimum connection interval range and uh, the two bytes are for the maximum connection interval range. And uh, the range values are basically in the hexadecimal we have from 0x0006 to 0xc80. And uh, the time unit uh, for a single value is 1.25 milliseconds. Uh, so uh, that's how we set the range. And if the value is set to 0xFFFF, then it means the slave does not uh, specify any connection interval range. If uh, the slave does not uh, specify any connection interval range, then uh, uh, the master device can uh, uh, select itself, uh, which is best suited for the master device. In order to include it into the advertisement packet, we need to define a variable of type BLE ADV data con init underscore T and uh, give it a name like for example here I'm giving it a con range as a name and uh, then we will set uh, its uh, minimum connection interval time and the maximum connection interval time value and uh, these values will be multiplied by one point to five milliseconds as uh, you already know that we know that this is the minimum unit the maximum here is 100 so the next step is uh, we have to include this structure in the advertisement packet so adv data dot p slave con, uh, con interval we have to set this pointer uh, which uh, points to the address of this variable and uh, then we will initialize uh, the advertisement and uh, after that in the advertisement our data will be included so here these values these values can also be uh, directly added or you can just uh, point them to the defined values that are in the uh, upper part of the programming so we can uh, just uh, use them or we can directly define them here. This is the structure with the two values and uh, both are unsigned integer 16 so it's two bytes and this is also two bytes and the minimum uh, connection interval range and the maximum connection interval range and it's in 1.25 milliseconds and uh, this is the range for this so make sure you put the values within this range if it's uh, above or below then uh, uh, it's not going to be uh, correct so we have to put this in the range because we have to follow the protocol specifications so that's it for the basics and now we are going to see everything in the programming and let's see how we can uh, program this now let's uh, start uh, programming the connection interval range so first let's go into this PC uh, go into C directory here we have NRFSDK go into the examples here is my projects and uh, let's uh, copy the base project paste it here and let's rename it and uh, let's go into this folder I'm using an RF52840 so I will open PCA10056 go into S140 then open SES and here is the EM project file 
let's open this zoom in a little and uh, let's see in order to include uh, the connection interval range in the advertisement packets uh, first we need to define a structure variable so for that let's uh, let's create a structure variable here and it's of uh, this type so ble adv and uh, let's name it as connection interval range now we are going to pass it the parameters so for that let's uh, use uh, the parameters that we have previously defined which are present here the minimum connection interval and the max connection interval so min con interval and max con interval we will just use them directly so let's go back to advertisement in it and uh, here after the initialization you can place it anywhere I'm just gonna place them around here so first we have to assign the values so for that con int range dot uh, minimum con interval the connection interval and uh, let's give it the minimum min con interval which is defined above so the next one is con and range the maximum max connection interval and uh, this is max con interval and now we have set the minimum and maximum now we need to point it point towards uh, this uh, structure variable so for that let's point it so init dot adv and data dot p slave con interval now we are going to uh, point toward it so for that we will use and because it's an address and it's done let's save it and let's build the code make sure your device is connected so click on target connect erase all and now we are going to download it once it's uh, downloaded uh, we have to see it so make sure you have connected your USB dongle uh, we can see it in the Wireshark or we can use it in uh, we can see it in NRF connect or we can also see it in our mobile application so I will open this Bluetooth low energy and my dongle is connected so I will click here and click on this and the dongle is uh, connected and it's uh, started now we need to start the scanning because my device has been programmed so it's advertising now so let's scan it uh, and here is my device and uh, its name is sambt and uh, let's see the details here we can see the details and the connection interval range is mentioned here but once again this is mentioned in uh, hexadecimal values so we are not able to understand them here so let's go into the mobile interface and let's see uh, it in in the mobile interface so here is my nrf connect application so i will click on the nrf connect and uh, it's scanning so here is my device sam bt so if i go into its advertisement information here we can see the slave connection interval range which is 100 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds the minimum is 100 and uh, the maximum is 200 so this is the connection interval range which is also present in the advertisement packet so it's being advertised and uh, the receiver scanning device can see this information as well okay that's it for today I hope so you have learned something new today. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Also, please do support me on my PayPal and Patreon. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.